Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today I'm really excited to share with you guys the new segment that I'm starting on my channel called Monster Mash. So uh, a lot of you really liked my how to draw creatures tutorial, and if you haven't checked it out, I'll put a little annotation here somewhere. Um, and a lot of you really liked it and wanted me to make more creatures. And honestly, that's one of my favorite things to do. I love drawing monsters. I love drawing creatures. And um, I just, I love doing it in general, especially when I get to like mash real life animals together into new monsters. So I thought, why not make a new segment from it? So uh, today we're going to be starting the first episode of the series called Monster Mash. And uh, in each episode, I'm going to be doing different prompts to create new creatures. Today I'm going to be using the same method that I did for my creature tutorial where I'm going to take four random animals, mash them together, and create a new creature. And uh, just to let you guys know, I will be using this method here and there throughout the series, but I got a lot of other cool ways that I'm going to mix and match monsters that I'll be using later on throughout the series. Alright guys, so I'm all set up, I have my canvas ready, and I have the random animal generator ready to go. If you guys want the link to the random animal generator, it will be down in the description below. And if you guys try this method out, I'd love to see it. Please tag me on Twitter. I'm at at kmccaig, so K-M-C-C-A-I-G-U-E. Shoot me a message on Twitter, whatever. I'd love to see what you create. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and press refresh. We're gonna get four random animals. I personally like using four because it's a little bit easier to work with. When you start getting more than four creatures, it tends to kind of muddy the animal and what I mean by muddying is basically you lose what creatures were in there because you're just trying to incorporate way too many elements together. Maybe one day I'll try a challenge where I have like a bunch of animals, like maybe like six to ten creatures to put together into one. But for now, four is a really good starting point. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. All right, I have to do a warthog, a bear, a crocodile, and a snake. I got a couple ideas, but this will be interesting. And I really like that I have two fuzzy, fuzzy quotes. I guess animals covered in hair. I have two hairy animals, and then I have two more scaly animals. So now I'm gonna have to think about what approach I wanna take and where I wanna keep those. Hmm. All right, let's get started. So my initial concept sketches are done. Every time I do one of these creature designs, I try to push myself and do a couple of different designs instead of going with my first gut instinct. Because, um, you know, when you develop a couple different designs, you kind of see what's strong in each one, and then you think, oh, maybe I could improve it and add this and do this. So I really like how this third one right here turned out. Uh, it has the face of the crocodile, it has the tusks of the boar, the ears of the boar, and then I thought it'd be kind of cool to have it be partly scaled with fur. So the shaded in areas are gonna be the fur of the grizzly bear. And then I really like how a crocodile kind of has the bow-legged walk and arm. So I wanted to keep those consistent and do that for both the forearms and the hind legs. And then uh, the claws, I was like, I could use the bear talons, like the black claws. So I thought that'd be cool. So for the tail, I made it long, kind of like the crocodiles, but also like the snakes. And I'm gonna use similar coloring to the snake I got in my random animal generator. Okay, so with the rough concepts done and kind of my vision in place, I'm gonna go ahead and do the final rough sketch, ink it, color it, and finish this monster design. So actually, one more note before I move on. I realized that this guy kind of looks similar to, if you know Egyptian mythology, um, when you die and go to the afterlife, Anubis weighs your heart against a feather, and if you're like a good person or worthy to go into the afterlife, it's lighter than a feather, but if not, then it's heavy, filled with all your sins and what you did bad. And Anubis has this like crocodile dog thing that eats the hearts of people that don't pass. 
And he kind of looks like it to me. So that would be kind of an interesting twist. I kind of wonder if I should uh, make this guy look a little Egyptian. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the final sketch looks like, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm all done with this monster mash. So I combined both the warthog, the grizzly bear, a crocodile, and a snake. So I'll just go through uh, what I used in different areas. So I used the boar. I have his tusks along with his ears. And so for the bear, I used the tufts of fur from the head to the chest and the stomach, along with the claws on the legs and the hind legs. And then for the crocodile, I used the overall body shape along with the head structure and the spines and the arms and legs. And then for the snake, I extended the tail to be like kind of the long flowy tail of a snake. And I used a similar color palette to the snake that I was presented in the random animal generator. So overall, yeah, I really like how it turned out. I like all the uh, bright colors and just the overall structure. I'm kind of a sucker when it comes to reptiles in general. So using the overall uh, crocodile look, I really liked. And how fitting that I got a crocodile when I'm wearing my kawaii crocodile shirt. So I guess it worked out for the best today. So uh, I guess that's it for today's Monster Mash. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you like this content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna try to keep doing Monster Mashes maybe at least twice a month um, and maybe increase it as I get more time. But uh, yeah, subscribe. I do a bunch of other art videos and such. And if you like this, leave a like. And if you try out this method and make your own creatures, please send me a photo. I'd love to see what you did. You can send me a photo on Twitter or I have a Facebook. And I think those are probably the best ways to send it to me. And uh, let me know what you guys think of this and if you have any other, I guess, creature melding ideas. 
So thanks again guys for stopping by and checking out this video and I'll see you guys next Friday for another art video. Bye guys.